We do have another topic. Again, I had written the show. I sent it to the guys last night. Had to rewrite it this morning. We got to talk Avowed. I think this is going to be a monster surprise for a whole lot of reasons, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Avowed, (laughs) obviously, is a Obsidian RPG that is releasing this year, right? Again, we did hear (laughs) that on the 10th of June, content creators as well as the press will be able to play both Avowed and Indiana Jones. They didn't say how much you'd be able to play, but it's probably going to be a demo. For them to have a demo ready to go is that they are confident that this game is ready to release in 2024. What's interesting, and I'm going to go to Umber first here because he is Mr. He is in, in, in the middle of his name is Unreal Engine 5 something. I'm going to find out what that something is just, just in a few seconds. We have confirmation from numerous sources. I happen to pull this particular story. Don't throw the virtual tomatoes. It's the one I found, and it makes more sense than some of the other ones I read. From Gaming Bolt, which I still like, even though you know sometimes they do some stupid things. It says, Avowed moved to the Unreal Engine 5.3 with support from the Coalition. This is a rumor, folks. Now, this was posted on May 28th. Uh, it was uh, written by Joel Daniels. Again, this is GamingBolt.com. Uh, Avowed developer Obsidian reportedly received a helping hand from the Gears of War studio to upgrade the RPG's engine to Unreal Engine 5.3. Now, look, all we have to do is look at what happened, and I'm not saying they're going to be one-to-one comparisons because they're not, but look what the Unreal Engine did for... Hellblade 2. Redonkulous. Well, it has been... Now, again, take, take, take it with a grain of salt. According to Windows Central's Jez Corden, Obsidian received support to move the game to Unreal Engine 5.3 from the Xbox tech teams, as well as the Coalition. How the game's engine newer, engine's newer version will affect development going forward or what features it brings to the table that Obsidian wants to make use of is currently unknown. And the story continues, Umber. Interestingly enough, the Coalition hasn't released a game on its own in quite some time, with Gears 5 having come out in September of 2019 and its DLC Hive Busters coming out a year later. Since then, the Coalition has been working on unannounced projects too of which are rumored to have been canceled while also working as a support studio for other games. Leaks have claimed that the studio is currently working on the next mainline Gears, which is reportedly set to be unveiled at this year's Xbox Games Showcase. Now, obviously, they had some help. and They've been helping a lot of people. We know that they've helped Undead Labs with Stave the K3. We have confirmation. Now, whether you call it confirmation, it's Jez Corden. I trust, or I, I will say in Jez, I trust. Uh, if he's saying it, I, I believe him. Uh, let's talk about this. Avowed, coming out this year, moved to the Unreal Engine 5.3. I'm expecting big things. What, what about you, man? Yeah, very big things. I mean, this is, a, like you said, I'm a, you know, I'm an Unreal Engine enjoyer. Uh <laughs> So this is great news for me, right? A long period. I also, th- I think it's dope to, for one, not only getting their tech team involved to to ensure that, because it's like um, quality insur- assurance, right? It's, it's good to have see that they are actually using their tech teams to to improve these games, but to have the coalition who are masters at at the uh, Unreal Engine jump on board to help them get this right tells me, you know, that they're saying, hey, we want a quality product from obsidian so that that that's a, that's a positive all the way through we trust uh, most of us i would say would trust obsidian to deliver a great story and character work like that's their that's their thing that's their bread and butter but you know maybe the foundation of engine work isn't their strongest suit moving into doing what they're doing here so having a tech team like that and and the coalition jump on board for this like cross um you know pollination of of development help that's pretty cool in itself and it's something i think 
we've all talked about before. Like maybe they can get get on board and help them do this and do that. This is really that, as you would say, boom, in fruition, coming to fruition. So this <laughs> right here is pretty cool in itself because of that alone. Um, that's really dope. Also, too, like um, I guess you could probably expect that for other products that or other games they have, should I say, that are using Unreal Engine, you could probably expect them to move up with those as well. I, I'm not sure what Hellblade, what but uh what edition Hellblade 2 was under when it was upgraded or at least put out. I'm not sure if it was 5.3 or 5.1, but uh 5.3 right here. Um it shows, I think, also too, because Avowed is targeted for release later this year. Yeah. So all of these things they're doing here probably happen earlier this year or whatever. And it, and depending on what they're doing and the size of the game, you know, a lot of the code might need to change to accommodate this version. So, but from what we've heard, even from, you know, buddies like 3-Bit, for instance, he talked about how relatively painless it is to, to move to uh, the next iteration, be, be it from four to five or whatever. So uh, that's pretty cool in itself. And, you know, that they make it epic and make, I'm sure it works with them too, to help make it easy enough to transition. Uh, this is really dope though, uh, because, you know, we're going to get probable better improvement with lumen and and nanite yes. and stuff like that so that 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 right there tells me we're going to probably have a much prettier game by the time we get there that's been one of the complaints actually i remember seeing some people whine about that like oh it looks dated et cetera, et cetera, and it doesn't look that good i thought it looks pretty colorful and nice um some people didn't like that it was colorful either they were like oh well you know they're supposed to be more. It's dreadful not Skyrim Boo, right? Yes, We're pretty much. Yeah. So this right here, I think, is I can't find a negative here. Having all of these quality people help them get it right, uh, more than likely is going to end up being a better product for us at the end of the day, and gives them a better uh, footing to do well with uh, avowed. So, which is what they need. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all I'm all aboard. I'm all I'm happy for it. I'm happy that this is happening. I uh, expect nothing but positive things for that when it comes from this. Let's talk about because this is Obsidian. Obsidian is known for a lot <laughs> of things, and being good RPG makers is one of them. This is based <laughs> on an IP that currently is out there into the ether. I've never played the, the Pillars of Eternity series. It's just not my kind of it, – it is an ARPG, not for me which is fine. This is in that universe. So all of these characters, I, I I don't know if they actually exist or they don't, but I'm very excited for this game. Uh, anyone that enjoys an Obsidian RPG immediately equates not only some of the stuff they did in the past, more specifically, Fallout New Vegas being the tip of the spear, at least for me. Obsidian did, in fact, make uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, which is 100 years old at this point, but they are legendary rpg makers of uh, the outer worlds came out a couple of years ago they're currently working on the outer worlds 2 uh the outer worlds 1 was absolutely amazing they it gave me like serious mass effect vibes because of the companions and their stories which is why i really loved it and i think you're going to get that here in avowed and spades but let's talk about the upgrade from the old engine, which I wasn't sure what it was, but it is going to now be Unreal Engine 5.3. And we haven't seen this game since its initial reveal, I think, was it the beginning of the year, maybe? And maybe even before then, I think they have something special here. Let's talk about getting help from the Coalition. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be cool for any of the studios, right? You might as well take the uh, you know take advantage of, of the team that understands the engine more than anybody else outside of Epic. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know what that necessarily means. Are they going to like change? Like one of the things you could see is uh, maybe the the uh, backgrounds and the the ground right that could become more nanite based. Uh, that is a potential right. It looked more uh, maybe cartoony is a word. I don't know if it's really that, but you know, it looked a little bit less uh, than like say Hellblade. That's real, right? Just total real. Now, maybe they don't want that though. It's obsidian, right? Maybe they don't want that. Maybe they like that, like more, uh, I guess, stylized art instead of uh, having it be like, uh, you know, just totally real. 
uh, which generally the games are like that, right? So I don't know. I'm not sure if they're going to want to to switch or not, but maybe they will try to do that. Uh, you know, like you, you look at something like Pentiment, it's stylized to the point of what it needs to tell you. And I know probably none of you have played it, which is too bad. It is a fantastic story. and It's, it's an awesome game, but it is very niche, right? I get that. Um, you look at Grounded, right? It kind of did what it wanted to do. That's an Unreal game, right? And it's not intended to look like totally real, but real enough, right? And but it has a, a style to it. And you know, you look at Outer Worlds. It's got the same thing. It's not like it's not real, real, but it's kind of real. Uh, but it has its own style, uh, and that's kind of what they like. It, what I saw in Avowed, and I kind of like that. I don't. I don't necessarily need everything to look. Like it's, it's, you know, the real world that I'm looking outside a window, right? I think I kind of like, like games give you that opportunity to have like, it's just like movies do, right? They give you the opportunity to do things that are crazy, right? Like it's not the real world. Like that's kind of what you want in some of these things to, to be able to do things that are just crazy. Like they're going around with freaking like magical sparks and shit coming in your hand, right? It's like, so this is not real. I kind of like that. I kind of like the stylized thing. Uh, but, you know, if they want to try to take advantage of that, one of the other things they could do is simple lighting. The lighting that, that you have with uh, with uh, UE5 could be uh, upgraded with UE5, right? So that, that's a potential. We'll see. We'll see what they do with it. Uh, I don't want them to spend too much time on it, though. I, like, the game was ready. Let's just go, right? But if they did something in the intermediate time and they're, they're now showcasing, hey, this is going to have more uh, punchier graphics, fair enough. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm just happy to see them put the game out. To your point, Boom, though, this is a niche game. Pillars of Eternity did never, you know, never sold well. Like we're not, not even reaching a million. Okay, right. I, I, I just don't want people to, to say, oh, well, this game has to make like twenty million in sales, or it's a fail. It's like, dude, this is not what Xbox is banking off of. It's part of the many different genres of games that they're trying to give to their consumer, just like Hellblade. Right? Don't consider this the big next AAA Skyrim kill. It's not. It's not Skyrim. It's not intended to be Skyrim. It's intended to be an Obsidian game. And I'm, I'm so done with like the over, uh, like like the, the the expectations on everything that Xbox puts out. It's like, come on. It is. Do you expect you know grounded to be the next massive AAA? It's not intended to be that, right? So Avowed is what it is, and it's gonna be like for me. I, I'm very sure I'm gonna love it. But I know what I'm getting into, and my expectations are always, tell me, developer, what did you want me to play, right? I, that's why Starfield failed for some people, is they were expecting to play a Fallout. It's not Fallout. You, you got to let the game come to you. Let it be what they're trying to tell you, <laughs> not what you expect. There's too much of that, unfortunately. And to your point, there's going to be naysayers. Yeah. Why, why didn't it do this? Yeah. Why didn't it do that? It's like, because that's not what they wanted to do. Does that really matter? <laughs> Does Knack have to be the equivalent of last of us no it does not it does not it can just be the game it is does astro have to be the equivalent of ghost of tsushima no it does not it's okay to make a different thing but you know when everybody else does it boom they're never it's okay no no it, it, it's applauded if, it, if it's done on, <laughs> on playstation but if xbox dare give you something different oh no that's the end of the world because all they want is god of war and it's like dude Xbox does not own that IP. They're not going to give you God of War. You know what they will give you? Call of Duty, which is bigger than God of War. They give you Sea of Thieves, which is bigger than God of War. Whether you like that fact or not, it is. So take that. They give you games that are massive. You may not like them, but there are millions upon millions that do, and they're fine. They don't need you to play God of War on Xbox, though that might be coming if a certain rumor is true. But hey, we'll <laughs> leave that for later. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> like I said, like, over my dead body. Yeah, yeah wait, if, if, if that if that ever happens, where you get a mainline PlayStation title on an Xbox, it is going to be over for the community. Their community is going to be oh, very upset. Uh, the, our mean, Xbox are going to have a field day. Oh, yeah. it would be so funny. It's it's gonna be a oh day in boy. infamy, that's for sure. Get ready, folks. Uh, we don't know if that's happening. I personally don't think it is. The, the game I see going over is Spider Man 2018 and Miles Morales. That that's what I see going over happening this year. No, happening next year. Well, your guess is as good as mine, but I think it is happening because Disney likes money. Sony needs money. 
and well, it they're not making any money on those two, two those two particular games. They're literally sitting there making no money for them. So how do you make money? You sell it on another platform. I don't know, kind of something like what Xbox did. Now don't get me wrong, I don't like it. I don't like it. I say don't put your peanut butter in my chocolate. It's fine. But I'm also not the demographic anymore. I'm the old prick that is conditioned to say that these games belong here, these games belong there, and I bought a console for each one of those games. That's not the world. And I ha- and, and I understand that things are changing. Jamie, I, I want to bring you in. Let's talk about it because you like Obsidian as an RPG maker. If anyone knows, uh, and you should know Jamie Moran uh, through his YouTube channel, he is a big Mass Effect RPG kind of player and if there's one thing or one takeaway that we both can agree on is the outer worlds did have a very mass effect kind of feel with the way that you uh had your uh you know your uh you know your side characters uh, or parts of your crew with you their stories mattered uh kind of like they did in mass effect but again this is obsidian about is a new ip Yes, it's in the Pillars of Eternity, uh, you know, demographic. I never played those games. A lot of people didn't play those games. Matter of fact, like Hargeet said, they didn't even break a million in sales because they were very niche. ARPGs are niche. I have a feeling that this game is going to be something special. We do have, you know, there's going to be naysayers that are going to come out and say, oh, you know, it's not like Skyrim. It's not meant to be like Skyrim. It's meant to be like avowed how they're trying to tell this story let's get your take on the upgrade to the unreal engine 5.3 yeah so when it comes to the old upgrade situation i think if you've played hellblade 2 i mean outside of the graphics which are have they have to be the best graphics i've ever seen in the game ever but i outside of the graphics thing that the most Im- impressive part about that game is the audio and its use of scene transition when it comes to you know using an ssd We've heard for the past four years nonstop about SSD tech, Unreal Engine 5, and we haven't really seen that to its max extent, you know. Um, and like playing this game, I'm like, they blatantly using that tech to its fullest, you know. Uh, it's it's impressive. It's the stuff that you know people wanted to see for the past four years. Because as much as I, I love many games that came out this generation, but I'd say people have still been wanting that next gen moment, you know, what we had back in 2006 with Gears of War. This is one of those moments, and you know, Unreal Engine 5.3. It's impressive tech. Uh, in the past, Obsidian's first part, sorry, first person RPGs have had this somewhat level of jank to them just because of how they made, you know, whether it being uh, Fallout New Vegas or even um, the Outer Worlds. Even though I loved that game, it did have its tiny little bit of jank to it, but again, small team. Uh, so it's good that they actually having developers from other teams help them work on the engine because as good as Unreal Engine 5 is it's crystal clear that all these developers still aren't ready using that tech. Otherwise, we'd, we'd have these graphics all the time. So it's good that they're doing that. Uh, and when it comes to the whole, you know, avowed being like, you know, I know Hargeet mentioned the, the, the you know, not being the Sky Skyrim killer. Uh, I, I, I don't really look at it like that. I think avowed has a big chance to be successful because it's actually the first RPG of its kind since Skyrim. We haven't had a triple A first person magic fantasy role playing game since Skyrim. Like, why in that time has that not happened? It's weird. Uh, so, there's Skyrim fans that are looking at this thinking, oh, I'm going to get more, you know, a fantasy RPG. And also, look at Baldur's Gate. You had normies, you had people that didn't play RPGs before buy this hardcore turn based role playing game and get into the genre. And now they are looking for more fantasy games. I mean, I do that all the time. Uh, so, like, Pillars of Eternity was, could be considered niche. That's why we can say Avowed is, quote-unquote, a new IP, uh, because a lot of people didn't play the Pillars of Eternity universe, all those games. Um, and the thing is about this game, it still has to look like it's in the Pillars of Eternity universe, so it can't be looking like Hellblade. And personally, I don't want it to. I think the problem is this past generation is that during the Xbox 360 and PS3, you had these developers that knew that they had hardware that they couldn't make realistic looking games on. So they used this thing called art styles. Every single game could look great on a 360, but they used unique art styles. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum looks amazing 
doesn't look realistic. Bioshock still looks good, and it came out in 2007, and it doesn't look realistic. And the problem with last generation is it's gotten people's frame of mind out there where every game has to look photorealistic. And if it doesn't, it gets called double A. The only times I've posted about Avowed, people say it's double A. No, it's a, it's a triple A game. It even says in their blog. But like, I love the fact that developers are using these different kinds of technology to make games look different. Because why does everyone want every game to like? Why does everyone want every game to look like God of War or Hellblade? I want things to look different. That's why I like High Five Rush so much. It was a moving cartoon. We don't get that every day. I don't want everything to look the same. So I love the fact that they're doing something different. I think Avowed's going to be great. I RPGs are my go-to genre. And we haven't had anything remotely like this since 2011. People have been thirsty for years. We've had three different versions of Skyrim since then. Three. People still want more. People have wanted a Skyrim too. So I think this is going to, uh, you know, it's going to it's going to appear appeal to those people. It's definitely appeals to me and i think a lot of people that are rpg fans will give this a go because over the past few years there's been this uptick in fantasy rpgs popping off you had elden ring in 2022 doing amazing numbers last year you had Baldur's gate 3 doing amazing numbers and this year you have dragon's dogma 2 again which was considered niche back in 2011 so i think it's going to be fine and i think people have a special game coming here <laughs>